side effects from the vaccine are usually mild and self-limited, and it's the kind of things that you would expect. Think about other vaccines you've had, like the flu vaccine or measles vaccine. Headache, arm pain, redness at the site of injection, maybe a little muscle pain where the injection went in. And then you can get some fatigue. Very rarely we see things like low-grade fever, feeling unwell for a day or two, but these usually resolve within 24 to 48 hours. The three biggest reasons that I hear that parents aren't vaccinating their kids, the, the primary one that I hear is they're worried about their child's fertility. There's, there's a lot of rumors circulating on the internet that the vaccine can affect short-term or long-term for, fertility, and that's absolutely not true. There's no science behind that. There's no data behind that. And in fact, there's very good data from people who have already been vaccinated that their fertility is perfectly intact. The second reason is the inflammation of the heart or myocarditis. We saw this with teenagers who got vaccinated after the vaccine was released for kids who are 12 and up. There were no reported cases of myocarditis in the 5 to 11 trial. However, we do know that it's an extremely rare side effect, so it is possible that it's simple that the, the study wasn't large enough to capture it. And the other thing that I will point out is now we know it's very clear that the myocarditis that comes as a side effect from the vaccine is extremely, extremely mild, typically resolves within 24 to 48 hours, and does not appear to lead to any long-term health problems either with the heart or with anything else. The last reason that I hear from parents that they don't want to vaccinate their kid is this mysterious unknown. What if five years from now some side effect emerges from the vaccine that we didn't know about and I already injected my kid and now five years later they're going to have cancer or some other thing that I didn't know about? And that's understandable. I, I understand why parents have that fear of the unknown, but it's not scientifically or biologically logical. The vaccine, any vaccine that you give yourself or your child only stays in your body for a few hours to a day or two, and then it's gone. It's been completely eliminated. So there's no mechanism for it to have ongoing effects on the body after that initial exposure. So any side effect that's going to emerge from a vaccine will emerge in the first four to six weeks. It cannot emerge after that because it, the vaccine itself no longer exists inside your body.